a dab. What's up, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Seth, and we are back again some more Luxian Trove, Trove Adventure Time. Yes, this idiot's here. I'm sorry that this video is a day late. I was busy, 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 busy with lots of our secret side projects that I'm working on that you guys will get to experience very soon. But Luxian is visiting and he's not selling the best stuff. He's not selling the worst stuff. One thing that I kind of find a little bit frustrating is now that he is selling his Gold Horde Dragon Souls very regularly and then, I mean, I guess Dispoiled Divinity is a good enough item, but Meta Matter and uh, just kind of consumable items seem to take up these slots. So that's three slots already just taken with him selling resources that you could otherwise get by other means, which is nice that we have an alternative to it, but I mean, I kind of talk at the end of this video about what my thoughts are towards Luxian, his current iteration in the game and how I personally think that they could end up making him a little bit better but we also got the standard signs so that's pretty cool because otherwise it was in the style section of the store down at the was it the style section or the more section one of these ended up having it yeah it was actually the more section it was right down here where you could just buy it uh, for cubits and then you would end up getting a bunch of the different signs that you can craft uh, to place down in your club worlds and your house and stuff like that and then you can end up writing on them custom text so there's also going to be the well-traveled treasure which as far as i remember was a login token item the war horse which Oh man, was was that either a crafted item? It was such a long time since the Warhorse was in the game. I think that was actually just a, a chaos chest item or something. I I honestly don't remember the years ago, guys. Like seriously, this is an old mount right here, the Warhorse, because I remember that was back in the day. I I think you could only get it out of the credit shop because I ended up actually buying it from this baller who was buying cash shop exclusive items out of the cash shop so they could sell them to other players because there was actually a lot of items that you could only buy with uh, credits and that was long before credits were actually a tradable commodity, right? Uh, and then Refined Raptor, this is going to be another daily login item and then the Tome of Wonder. So this might be something worth investing in. Those of you that want to actually get this thing and sell it afterwards, what it is going to do is the Writings of Wonder is going to be a legendary tome, meaning that you can only complete it once a week, and it's going to give you two Troves of Wonder, which isn't very good, it really isn't, but I mean, I guess it slowly adds up over time, and most of all, you just want to get those extra Troves of Wonder, because that's pretty much 20k right there, if you decide to actually sell them, and then most of all, the reason you're getting this tome is obviously just because it's got the mass right and then the refined raptor so this guy is not too bad he's not great but he's not bad he's a pretty good starting ally uh there is actually a better ally through the golden horde dragon souls but we'll talk about that in a bit it's actually a lot cheaper as well but this guy is going to give you eight uh physical damage eight magic damage uh and then also six percent to attack speed and if i can show him right here he's kind of cute he's kind of adorable he's kind of evil he's just a little dark raptor dude and he's got a little cute scarf for some reason and he's going to end up eating your face if you let him so don't let him actually do that then there's the war horse uh where is it right here this was this is such an old item this was the first item in the game as far as i remember that had this skeleton i think the war horse came around the exact same time that the radiant horse did but this one was really cool because at the time it ended up having the smoke video effects and even though I'm not personally a fan of these horse mounts, I actually really very much prefer like Slow Sebastian and kind of the shorter, stubbier horses rather than these guys. I think these horses would be a lot cooler if they had legs instead of just those tiny little squares on the ground. It's just, I, I don't know. But either way, it's a cool mount for sure definitely worth picking that one up uh the well-traveled treasure chest is pretty disgusting it was a login item it's funny how all of these are under the login tab when they should actually be under luxian tab now but i guess who cares uh it quite literally is just going to end up being a chest doesn't really have anything special going for it i guess while you're walking with it uh you can't really see it because of the snow but it is technically dropping like little cubits which is kind of funny. I, I, I actually really like that, even though the mount itself is just all one color because it was something by the devs, obviously. And there's no chests in the game that actually give you like gold or anything like that. Like it's just, it's really, really weird, but kind of cool at the same time. And once again, I'm not a fan of the bouncing mounts, even though you guys keep saying, then why are you using them on your alternate account? That's because that's the only mount that I have, guys. Uh, and then the standard signs we already talked about. Metamatter is something worth picking up. Although very expensive, you can pick up 10 of them 
definitely worth grabbing it just because of the fact that metamatter is extremely difficult to get and very time gated and uggles so the more metamatter the better and if you are a console player watching this at home, you're going to want to pick up this extra metamatter because there is a couple things that are going to cost metamatter when the U10 update ends up going live February 5th. So I'll have another video that's going to be kind of talking about all that stuff more specifically. Despoiled Divinity, you can get three of them. I mean, I guess technically I should grab these because it's otherwise one of the most ridiculously time-gated resources in the game. Uh, it's weird because it's like... It's, it's super duper time gated resource that is required for a bunch of costumes and junk like that that literally take months just because this resource is so difficult to get. But then on top of it, there's some consumable items that actually require disposable divinity as well, which that's just not okay. Like it's just so badly balanced, dude, or not even balanced. And then the Golden Horde Dragon Souls, uh, that is actually going to end up giving you not only just Luxian himself overall as a mount, uh, but you end up getting a bunch of our very good benefits from it. So as you consume one of these, you're going to end up getting the Dragon Crown that's just going to be a hat style and a bunch of mastery. But if you end up consuming five of them, you're going to end up getting the uh, Golden Horde Dragonling. And this is probably one of the best, easiest uh, starting allies in the game just because it's going to give you 20% physical damage, increase your cool down by 10%, uh, and also has a chance to blast enemies with fire as well. So definitely pick that up if you don't already have it, guys. That's probably one of the best starting allies just because of how easy it is to attain because you don't really have to do anything. And then for 10 souls, you get the Dragonling. Dragon Horde fledgling, so on and so forth. I've got other videos that already show the entirety of Luxian. Uh, well, I guess kind of show the entirety of Luxian. There's, I, I should actually just make a redone video that shows uh, all of the Luxian rewards and stuff like that, right? But anyways, on to my rant here. If you guys are already done with the video, you just wanted to see all the Luxian stuff, you don't got to watch the rest, but I would appreciate if you drop down a like. Uh, also, there is a link in the description where if you guys end up signing up through Trove through that link anything you end up buying out of the store will actually end up benefiting me personally i'll end up getting a small percentage of the store item purchase which is really really cool so anyways on to my rant about luxian so i i think that luxian is a really good system he's a really good mechanic to have in the game in that he ends up selling all these old items but the problem is that there are way too many old items considering the fact that this guy only visits twice a month i think that there's a couple different options that they could go uh with that would end up being a lot better either luxian should visit every weekend and every weekend he should have a whole new set of items that way he would slowly end up getting through his entire rotation a little bit faster because as of right now i'm pretty sure the devs are just hand picking these items at random rather than setting up a specific uh, set of items that he should have. But then on top of that, uh, the other alternative is that if he's just going to end up selling this same old garbage, I think Luxian should always be around uh, just for weeks at a time and end up s cycling out his inventory every week. That way it wouldn't end up being this kind of time gated merchant that you have to go and visit. It would just be another weekly thing that we could end up going and doing, right? But the other thing Thing too that uh, you know obviously the devs wouldn't do is i think that luxian considering that he only visits twice a month considering how rare and difficult it is for this guy to show up in the first place he should just sell his entire inventory all at once i can understand certain times he'll end up showing up with these astronomically awesome deals like the time he ended up showing up and we were able to buy the dreadnought mount from him stuff like that should be very rare but I think more often than not, he should just be selling like a bunch of things, if not a certain amount of items, because they have this inventory coded so you can scroll down. I think that he should always sell uh, his souls and a bunch of consumable items like Despoiled Divinity, Meta Matter. Uh, I think he should also end up selling the, what is it, from the plasmid, the, the beacon item that you end up using from the Neon City. Sorry, the item name escapes me right now. Uh, but then a couple recipe styles, I think he should always sell. He should always sell one to two. Two legendary tomes one to two set of wings three mounts at the least maybe two allies uh and maybe even five mounts like he should be something where we're like oh dude i can't wait to see what luxian has in store instead of this where luxian kind of sucks in you know like his his inventory is really really bad worse than the pun on average 
that I just ended up doing because this guy had a reputation when he first came out as being Trove's garbage man. Uh, and then the devs ended up kind of taking the hint and started giving him really, really good items. And now he's kind of at an average pace, I would say, rather than being something actually worthwhile. He's still kind of leaning towards being useless while kind of having functionality it's more a beginner player to a mid-tier player is going to benefit from some of this stuff and maybe an end game player who's just struggling with getting some extra mastery points because i mean it, it, arguably so a lot of luxian's inventory being bad doesn't really have to do with the items themselves uh, you know more so it's that the way that trove works is that almost everything is just useless and, and they kind of throw the idea that, oh, well, it gives you mastery. So that's where technically everything has worth in this game. But it's not really a system that I entirely agree with. Like this ally right here, uh, exactly the same point. It's like for less dragon coins, you can end up getting a better ally from the Golden Horde Souls. And the only reason you would end up getting this is either you want the style or it's just an ally that you're missing because you're missing that precious bit of mastery because that's pretty much what Trove's Endgame is. Anyways, though, let me know what you guys all think. I'm always interested to hear your opinions in the comments below. Otherwise, if you would please like, share, favorite, sub, whatever. You guys know how it all goes. I very much appreciate the positivity and support that you guys give me. I'm going to be trying to have these normal troll videos coming out a little bit more often. I know that lately it's just been non-stop live streaming. A lot of that again is because I got all these other secret projects, which I'll probably talk about soon in a kind of like channel update video rather than just a normal Trove Luxian video or anything. But either way, thanks for watching folks. Sign out and stay epic.